Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm an audio engineer and a musician of a few years now. And today I'm going to show you how to share a GarageBand project. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now I have GarageBand open here, but pretty much it's in the top menu. So we want to cruise up to share and we have several different options here. So pretty much depending on what your project is and what you're doing, whether it's a song, which, you know, probably in most case it is a song, but we do have ringtones that maybe you want to make that you want to customize for your phone or if you want your favorite song or something like that. And we also have podcasts as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we have send song to iTunes just in case you have recorded a song and uh, you just want to straight into iTunes and you're good to go. We also have ringtones in case you want to make custom ringtones. I know I'm a big fan of that. And then we have send podcast to iWeb so we can get our podcasts out there, right? Also, we have export song to disc and burn song to CD. So we can even go straight to our CDs. So if we want to listen to it in our car, my option usually when I am done with a song is I export the song to disc. I don't like sending the song to iTunes because um, iTunes, it does place it in its own folder. And um, I do like exporting the song to disc because then I get to choose where I want to save the song. And then from there, if I want to put it into iTunes or not, but there you guys go. Those are the different options of sharing your project within GarageBand. Just depends on what project you're doing. All right, guys. So if you do have any other questions, please let us know. And thank you for watching.